What's up athletes? Welcome back. Today we have a nine minute workout. We're gonna be working for 50 seconds and resting for 10 seconds, doing three rounds of three different exercises. Our first exercise today is a Russian lunge. For our Russian lunge, we're gonna get nice and low in our lunge position. We have a 90 degree angle in our forward leg and in our back leg. Then we're gonna switch fast. So try to stay low and switch fast. So instead of jumping high and switching, we're gonna stay low, switch, switch. Now, your alternate for this today is a step back lunge. So in our upright position, simply step back, make sure again, you have a 90 degree angle on both legs and just follow along for those 50 seconds. Next up, we have a plank to push up. For our plank to push up, we're in a high plank position. We're gonna come down onto our forearm. So down right, down left, up right, up left, switch, down left, down right, up left, up right. Our modification for that is simply to come up on an elevated surface, so on your couch or on your chair at home, right, left, up, right, left, and switch down left, down right, up left, up right. Remember just to keep alternating and try to avoid doing this exercise on your knees. We're always wanting to save our knees throughout our movement to make sure we can do this for a long time and avoid injury. Next, we have a fish pose leg raise. So we're gonna get into fish pose first. So you're gonna bring your elbows behind you. We're going to relax our body onto our shoulders, lift our legs a couple inches off the floor, raise up the leg, come back down, hover again a couple inches off the floor, and move on. Now, if you're feeling any strain in your shoulders or your back in this position, just come down onto the floor, keep your head on the floor, and tuck your hands under your hips if you want for just a little bit more stability and you're gonna do a straight leg raise this way. All right, athletes, without further ado, let's get this guy going. So remember for the Russian lunge, it's gonna get very fatiguing. At any point, if you wanna go ahead and scale, modify to that back lunge that we just showed you. And remember also that 50 seconds, because it's a long time, may require a little tiny break in that interval. So don't feel bad if you stop for a few seconds. Just make sure it's just for a few seconds, catch your breath, and then come right back in. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, Russian lunge. So you can go really fast if you want. I like to find my pace, especially when I have a 50 second interval, because if I go really fast right away, I'm gonna be forced to break. So my method oftentimes is slow and steady, but again, just trying to stay low, trying not to modify just yet, and really driving through that movement. This is a plyometric explosive movement. So again, normal that you'll get tired and take a tiny break, but find your rhythm, find your pace for today. That's what's important. We only have three minutes of legs for the workout today, including this first one. So just try not to modify until you really need to. I feel you, I know. And break. Ah, oh, yeah, I feel it. All right, athletes, let's go for our plank to push up. Remember, option for you to go ahead and come up on that elevated surface. Let's go down, up, and again. I'm so grateful for the break from the legs right now. Breathe through. You got this. And again, we can go a little bit faster if you want, but I, I always look for a challenging pace that is sustainable. 15 seconds. All right, let's go athletes, almost done. We have about five seconds left. Three, two, one, and break. All right, nicely done. Let's go flipping into our fish pose next. Three, two, one, and up. So get into the fish pose position. Make sure it's not straining your neck or your low back, knowing that the option for you is to go ahead and get on your back 
and support your low back and neck onto your mat. Now, generally the recommendation for breathing, if you're wondering how you're supposed to breathe, we oftentimes say to exhale on the effort. The effort is that hard part of the movement. So in this case, it's lifting the legs back up. So you're gonna inhale as you lower your legs, exhale up. Inhale, open up the diaphragm, exhale up. Five more seconds, three, two, one, and rest. All right, legs definitely burning. Let's go back to our Russian lunge. Three, two, one, and go. Sometimes round two is better because your body knows what's coming. And sometimes it is knowing what's coming <laughs> and therefore defying you. But just keep through it. Don't look at the time too much. I find if I look at the clock and I see that I've only done 10 or 15 seconds, automatically my brain's like, oh my God, so much left. Instead, focus on the breath, focus on your form. We're almost done. Know that I feel this too. And you can see I'm having a hard time to continue. I know you're doing better than I am, athlete, so keep going. Let's go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. And wow, that's done. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, and up. Alternate nicely. Take a quick check of those hips. Make sure they're nice and low. You got this. That's it, athlete. Doing good today, come on. That's it, drive through that breath. 20 seconds, focus on the movement. Let's go for 10 seconds, come on. Check those hips, don't raise them up. Three, two, one, and break. Oh man, I feel my legs. And this is just going to compound that feeling. All right, and up. Fish pose position. Let's go. Have your core do the work. Engage your core as you lower your legs so that it becomes less work for the legs to do. Nicely done. Keep breathing. Relax the shoulders. You're in this position, but just relax your shoulders. You got this. Ten seconds. Continue to drive that breath to the muscle and break. All right. Thankfully, last round here of our Russian lunge. Russian lunge Three, two, one, and go. That's it, stay nice and tight. It's amazing how when you do these workouts and when you're done, you realize that that really is all that you need to stay consistent and to get the results that you desire. Oftentimes we feel we need to be in the gym for hours and hours and it's simply not true. I'm dying right now and I know you feel this too, so let's go. Let's just finish it up. We've got about 15 seconds left. Just try not to focus on the time. Focus on the movement. Even if that means you're slowing it down like I am, just focus on getting through, knowing that we've got about a few more seconds today and we're done. Ha! Oh, thank goodness that that is done. All right, good job. Athlete, let's go, let's go. Plank to push up. Let's go. Last time today, plank to push up. We only have a couple more to do today. And we're done. That's it. 
Where are you at, athletes? Are you with me? Let's go. Can you go faster than me? What's your pace like? I love to hear how this went for you, so please just give me a comment. Let me know how on fire your legs are. Let me know if you feel like these workouts are serving you, because it helps me to create the content for you. Make sure you're always getting to see what you like. Not that all at workouts are that enjoyable, but you know what I mean. And break. Good work. All right, our final minute. Let's get into our final fish pose for today. And up. Straight legs. It's amazing how by round three, I'm feeling my legs like crazy. I'm now feeling my core like crazy, especially after those plank to push ups. You can see my knees are bending, getting very fatigued. Good stuff. Come on, athletes. Let's go for 20 more seconds. Drive through that core. Five more seconds. Come on, don't break until we're done. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, amazing job today, athletes. I hope you're getting up slowly and catching your breath like I am. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much for showing up for you. Remember, if you want a couple more workouts to do today to complete today's training, check out the links I have for you. Remember to subscribe. Let me know how this went for you, and I'll see you in your next workout.